Hi, boys and girls. Ready for a little bit of phonics? All right, more syllables today. Listen carefully. See if you can tell me if there's one, two, three, four, five syllables. You never know how many there will be. These words are going with a story that we're going to be reading today for our read aloud. So the first word is harvesting. Harvesting. Hmm. Har the steen. Harvesting. Harvesting. If you got harvesting, you got it. Harvesting. Three syllables. Next one, lettuce. Hmm, what kind of story could have lettuce in it? Lettuce. Lettuce. Two syllables. Next one, radishes. Hmm. Radishes. Radishes. Hmm, how many was that? Radishes. Three syllables again. Next one, celery. Mmm, nice and green and crunchy. Celery. Celery. Three syllables again. Next one, bear. There's going to be a bear in this story. Bear. One syllable. The word bottoms is going to be in this story too. Hmm, bottoms. Bottoms, two syllables. What about the word family? There's going to be a family in the story. Family, family, three syllables. And the next one, harvest, harvest, harvest. That's a two syllable. And the very last one is rabbit. Rabbit. Two syllables. Good job, my friends. Well, last week, the rule we were working on was when two vowels go walking, whoo, the first one does the talking. And we are going to be doing that again this week, except with these two vowels, which are exactly the same. E, E. When we have two E's going walking, the first one does the talking, so the sound will be E. E, just like in the middle of queen and jeep, b and meet. Hopefully we will meet again. Now remember last week, the kind of meat that you would cook and eat, that was ea in it. But look at this when you meet another person, it's two e's. The more you read that word and write it, the more easier it will be to memorize that M-E-E-T is for meeting you. So two vowels go walking. The first one does the talking. I'm going to give you a word. If you hear E, give me big arms. If you hear eh, give me short hands. Okay. The first word is Easter. Easter was a holiday that was celebrated not too long ago, and now a lot of people are celebrating Ramadan. Easter. That had E in it. How about the word best? This is the best class. The est. Short. How about pen? There are a lot of different pens in seesaw to use. Short. What about sleep? Sleep. That's a big one. How about the word yes? Yes. He's a short. What about the word yell? I like to yell. Short. How about eggs? Eh, eh, eggs. Another short one. How about cheese? Oh, I love to eat cheese. Ch ease. That's a long e. How about the word excited? Excited. Remember the skunk got excited? But that's just short a. Eh. And the word end. The end. Short e. And how about the word sea? Sharks and whales live in the sea. That's a long one. And our very last word is elm. I used to have an elm tree in my yard. Short sound. Very good. All right, friends. If you were at school, I'd be giving you this paper right here with all of these pictures on it. You would be using yellow and blue to circle them. 
Yellow is going to have the E. Blue is going to have the short. Yellow is long, blue is short. What color would you use for sheep? Yellow. What color would you use for? Oh, that's a vet. V et. That would be blue. What color would you use for cheese? Yellow. What would you use for seeds? Seeds. Another yellow. Oh, what would you use for teeth? Teeth. Another yellow. We've had lots of yellow. This one, they are meeting. M eat. Another yellow. Now this little guy, oh, is a pet. Pet. There's our blue. He would be short. And this vegetable is a beet. B eat. It'd be another yellow. So wow, we had yellow, 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 and yellow. Those were all the long vowels. Our only short vowels were vet and pet. Those were our only two blue ones. Wow, interesting. All right, friends, excellent work. I'll see you next for our read aloud. Bye-bye.